again. We were just uh, on screen together a little bit while ago when you were helping me soundtrack. Yeah. Hi, Victoria. How are you doing? Not too bad. I just finished recording an uh, interview and I thought I would catch up with you a little bit because we have been doing this together for six months, almost seven months now. Already. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a big number already. Yeah, well, for us, it seems like forever because yes. uh, it's there's a lot that goes behind the scenes. Let's do a quick recap. Like, where have we been right now? Like, our guests have been pretty international. Yes, well, in all this time that we have been interviewing our guests, we have traveled through Canada, through Germany, Sweden, Denmark, UK, Italy, USA, uh, did I say New Zealand? So it has been yeah, pretty, pretty international. Yeah, it's pretty so, exciting. Yes. So I would recommend our audience that they have some time to catch up with our previous guest and, and watch really interesting uh, interviews. That's right. Last one there was pretty long. I talked to Heather for yeah. quite a while. And our first uh, guest, the first three, uh, we mm -hmm. are breaking them into two episodes because they were quite long as well. So there's yeah awesome material to catch up there's a lot of harps to be talked about <laughs> that's right we're very on brand we talk about harps a lot yeah. we have also uh introduced harp toolbox and mm -hmm. um, there's quite a number of them now some of them are courses so uh i think amelia's and samantha courses have started already uh, but there are the other ones right. they are on books and tools that you can access us anytime so check them out and just for our audience, a reminder, Harp Scotland discount is still on. You can use a voucher mm -hmm. code to get your first month of subscription for free until the end of October. Do you have a, a favorite toolbox or are you, are you one of those that is just going to, I want every tool in the box? I mean, I would want to do everything, but I just need to purchase some more free time to, to do everything. <laughs> we, we need imaginary free time to be able to exactly in all of them. But and I mean, for, for me that I began playing the hub a little bit more than one year ago, that's all of them, they are so useful and so attractive. So yeah, it is. And you still I have would... a lot of music that you want to play as well. Let's not forget yeah. about the squirrels. Yes. <laughs> And speaking about squirrel, I had a very nice conversation with our next guest about squirrels mm -hmm. and make sure you yeah. keep an eye on that. There's going to be some pretty nice squirrels there. Yes, keep an eye. And also back in August, we managed to find some time and have a little group uh, session with Josh to learn one of his compositions, Forgotten mm -hmm. Summer which he has also played again in the video that he made for the Somerset Festival. talking about our experience learning together as a group. It was very nice. We enjoyed it. it was... Josh left your harmonics, hell yeah. Sign harmonics you got there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I was lucky today. I was lucky today with the harmonics. Especially the, the B on the, on the metal string. Yeah, that was impressive. But it was, it was very nice breakdown. I was surprised by his approach because he started more working from the end towards the beginning. Yeah, I think his approach of saying like that you need to work from the hardest part of the piece always our tendency is to kind of ease ourselves from the easiest thing because we like the path of least resistance and kind of build the strength. But really, if you've mastered the most difficult part of the piece, then by the time you get there, it's going to be easier. And also starting from the back, like from the end, means yeah. that if we go back to the beginning and we learn the beginning, suddenly you know the whole piece. So um, that was a good reminder to like start at the end, start with the hardest parts. Don't kind of start with the parts that you can already play, just so you feel better about yourself. It's always nice when, when you when you hear the tips that he gives to the other participants. You also learn a lot. 
I really liked how he went around from like one person to the next and he listened to each of us and made sure we could each play that section and gave us different advice. And like you say, listening into each person, you were picking up hints. So if you were later, if on the random generator, you were eight, you'd got all the tips going before, so you could do a better job. Um, but also gearing those tips was really handy and hearing them on someone else, so you had a chance to write them down while you're playing was also useful and having that break. Um, I enjoyed learning the xylophonic technique. I thought that was quite fun at the end. Um, and I thought he would do those kind of things right at the beginning, but he left them at the till the end. So you were kind of having like a really fun ending, learning something really, really rewarding in that it was new, but fairly straightforward. Um, and so it just sounded really cool. I like the little tips that he thrown in here and there, right? Like the, you know, where to play the harmonics. He'll always make a point to remind you me that you know, depending on where the lever is, you're going to adjust your height and same thing on the pedal. The fingering tip on using second and third in the beginning so that you don't get that like dominating sound of the thumb, which is stronger, but that all this, all the notes are just really, really even to create that kind of atmospheric place. That was interesting. And yeah, I think it has a big difference where you so automatically go one and two. I didn't even actually hear him say do two and three at the beginning because I was just so like, this is obvious fingering, it's one and two. And then um, trying that and it does make a big difference, I think. So have you had the chance to play Forgotten Summer again yet? Yeah, I, I, I'm still in progress, but I, I managed to play it a little bit for the first edition of the Harp Olympic Games organized by World Harp Day. So I, I would recommend you, all of you, to stay in touch with them and keep an eye on their social media and maybe participate in the next edition of the, on the Harp Olympic Games because it was really fun and really nice to to know all the other eight participants from all around the world and listen to so many different pieces and styles. It was very intense. I remember you spending a lot of time yeah. you know, deciding on which piece you're going to play and making time to yes. record it. Uh, but everyone seems to have a lot of fun. There was uh, yeah. some really interesting costumes and pieces that were shared in there. It was. It was a very interesting approach to, to do some, to learn some pieces in a short span of time. and and try to do something different, yeah. And are you excited for our next couple months? I know Christmas is coming up and we have mm -hmm. Heather's Christmas collaboration that we want to do. So like you mentioned, Heather collaborative video. So last year there were a lot of harpies that they signed up for it. And this year has to be much, much bigger than the last one. So yeah, go you for it. and a couple other Harpist friends that I know were the people that I recognize in the video when I watch it last mm -hmm. Christmas. Yes. And this time when I watch it, there were so many more familiar faces, guests from Talking Harps uh, exactly. in there. Yeah. So let's go and find them or watch Heather's video because we had a lot of mm -hmm. fun counting and, and naming <laughs> who yeah. was in that video. <laughs> to participate in this year's collaboration, go to Heather's website. There's a link that will send you to her learning platform where you can access the sheet music, uh, learning mm -hmm. videos, and also a very calming click track or two, right, Javier? You were telling yes, me about calming exactly. areas. Yeah, and there will also be instructions on how to submit your videos. So we're gonna have to get started on that. Yeah, let's get to work. <laughs> Exactly. That's the hard part of playing the harp, actually playing yeah. the harp. <laughs> exactly. We have some pretty uh, exciting content lined up already for the rest of the year. Uh, we yeah. have Harp Toolbox, at least one coming up, if not more. Uh, there's going to be a new segment as well. Hopefully, we'll be able to introduce that soon in October or November. And of course, mm -hmm. we have our interviews that uh, we have been doing for a while. So. Stay tuned to the content. Subscribe yes. to our channel if you haven't already mm -hmm. and hit the notification bell so you wouldn't miss any new videos that come out. And don't forget to check us out on our Facebook and Instagram platforms as well. That's where you can get updates on what's happening in Talking Hearts. Thank you for joining me today, Javier, and helping out with a soundtrack. Much appreciated. Thank you, Victor. Thank you, Victoria. Nice to see you again. Yes, we'll talk again soon. Bye. Bye.